Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. I'm just bringing the old tractor back to the farm down here and then we are going to go off and have a chat with a uh, person up the road. Um, there's a mysterious man waiting by the side of the road. I will confess this is not the first time I've done this. This is actually the fourth or fifth time I've done this. I've been having terrible trouble with my recording software. Not recording this game properly for some reason and also uh, I, did, I did do one time and uh, the game crashed. Um, so yes, I've, I've been working at this for a couple of hours now, and so far we've done nothing. Um, hopefully that is all about to change though, so I've leapt off of my tractor there. Oh, and incidentally, yes, Jack Bear is actually John Deere. And I really like what they did with that, um, the, the, the Jack Bear, John Deere thing, yeah, it, it's, it's good. I should have seen that before, I really should have, but I'm not familiar with the old models of the John Deeres, so... Apparently they had a bit of an issue with the John Deere being copyright. Um, John Deere got a little bit funny with them and so on and so forth. So we're just going to have a chat Hello, with this fella. I'm John. I'm the tradesman here. Best prices, you know. Oh, I see. What's your trade? A bit of everything. <laughs> Nails, soap, some food, you know. I'll also buy fresh food from you, if you can spare. Nothing big, but I could use some fish, apples, mushrooms perhaps, you know. Well... That's really good to know. I'll see you around. All right. Not going anywhere, you know. Okay. Um, you know. He says you know a lot. It has been pointed out that these people do kind of uh, flap their arms around an awful lot when they're talking. It's early stages for the game. I'm assuming that that will be changed a little bit in the future. I don't know how much, though. Um, I've never actually played The Sims but I've been told that this is very similar to The Sims. So I don't know how much they flap their arms around when they're talking in The Sims. That could be an interesting comparison to draw, I feel. Uh, if, if they do it in The Sims, then chances are it'll stay in this game as well. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. So we're going to go up now to Clara's farm. Again, not the first time I've done this. Um, we're going to go and we're not actually going to speak to her just yet. We're going to get the tractor up there and then we will walk back to the farm and we will sleep the night so that when we start the quest with her we don't sort of have to go to sleep part way through because the quest did take me a little bit of time the first time that I went through and done it although after I'd done the quest I couldn't turn it in that was my problem is I tried to turn it into her and she wasn't having none of it she, she didn't want to know that that girl was not interested uh, I said you know I've done the quest I've, I've completed it I'm turning it in right now and nope no, not interested it was have you finished your work yet you, you got work to do you, you need to finish your work I thought I'd done it I thought I'd done the plowing I'd plowed the field but no she still didn't want to know so I'm, I'm feeling a little bit betrayed and let down by Clara uh, you know she was she was quite mean to me really uh, let me just stop there now there is a there was a bloke you notice a lady by her farm perhaps it'd be nice to say hello so I go and say hello to her and then I get the quest from her um, but I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to wait until tomorrow. And then I came, it, it told me to come out here and do this. You know, I had to plow this field here. This is where it sent me. And I plowed this field and I had nothing. So I'm wondering if I need to go elsewhere. There is a lot of people doing fishing. There's someone over there. Are they fi Yeah, they're fishing. That person's fishing. I've tried speaking to people who do fishing and it doesn't really give me any response. So we're going to take a wander now. We're going to go back home and... We're going to sleep the night, and then after we've slept the night, we will come back up here, we will speak to Clara, and we will see if we can get started. Um, I will just, like, I would like to say that a lot of people were asking me to play this game, and a lot of those comments are also people saying, could I please start doing a series on this? If I can get this episode to ever actually record, so that I've got something to put out for it, I'm quite liking this idea. I'm, I, I'm, I am enjoying the game, even though I'm sort of it's getting a bit repetitive at the moment because I'm doing the same thing over and over and over and over. And uh, none of you are actually going to see that, so it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, this is some. Sometimes this is what I got to do in order to get an episode out. And, um, so I am working my way through it. Let's just go into the house a second, and we we can take a little wander around the house and take a look, see what we got in here. So we've got in here, we've got the kitchen. And what's it? I haven't actually been into this room. Ah, it's our bathroom. Can we use this? No, we can't. Um, apparently, we don't need a toilet. Well, we have no toilet in there anyway. Um, close that. And there's a bedroom here. And then I think this one is 
a bedroom and then this one in here is a kitchen and I love this old stove this old stove is brilliant now if I go over here I think it's on that one there we go so we got some light look at that stove that is fantastic I have used a stove like that uh, I really have um yeah you don't because it doesn't really matter if it's rusty on the top because you don't put the food directly on there you put the food on the plates um so it, it does work and that cupboard right there that one in the middle that is a single unit those these days if you um restore one i did have one that i looked at restoring except that it was too badly damaged on the back so in the end it wasn't worth it but um yeah if you have one of those units and you fully restore them and i mean the really old ones that have the pull out chopping boards on the front as well they are worth an absolute fortune it is well anybody who is good at carpentry if you can find those old units like that they're worth a fortune these days it's ridiculous the amount of money that people will pay for those it really is it's obscene so anyway a lot of people are asking me if i could do a series on this now i can't just start doing a series because you know um because yeah, everything is quite full so I, I something else has got to make way and i've been giving this some very very careful thought if this game works if i can get the game to work and i can start recording regular episodes I am seriously considering replacing my Broadacres Unrealistic series. So instead of playing Farming Simulator on the Unrealistic series on a Thursday, Friday and a Saturday, I will instead play this game. I don't know what you think of that. Uh, give me your thoughts, give me your opinions. Um, and it's very important that I do get some thoughts and opinions because those thoughts and opinions could very well shape and help me make the decision for what I'm going to do at the moment I'm leaning towards doing it because this is a whole new approach but it's still a farming game I'm still doing farming stuff I'm doing farming related activities I don't want everything I do to be farming related gaming um, I like other games as well so I don't really want to like um, chop out a whole load of other games in order to make way for three games of this every week uh, three episodes of this um, so that is why I'm thinking temporarily at least just while there's a load of content to explore in this game we uh, reduce the number of farming simulator stuff that we do each week and we do uh, some farming simulator and some of this game so what are your thoughts on that one let's go and sleep the night now and then we can head up to clara's place and get the quest up there and you guys have a think about your response to this what do you think of it is it you think it's a good idea is it the worst idea you've heard in a very long time coming from me which is saying something because i don't always come up with the best ideas <laughs> but anyway um yeah I, I really would like to hear what you think of this does is this game something for you is this game good enough for you that you think it should replace temporary i'm not saying permanently i'm saying temporarily temporarily replace um the broad acres farming simulator series now let me just save my progress a minute and make sure that my recording software is actually working this time right hopefully it's working it seems to have recorded properly so we could be making some actual progress let's go and speak to clara see what she has so to say. good to see you sweetheart would you help me what can i do for you ma'am my brother is working abroad. He should have been back home a week ago, but he's still busy working. I need one of my fields plowed and cultivated. Will you do it for me, please? Use that old plow over there by the barn. You can keep it when you're done. My brother plans on buying a new one anyway. No promises, but I'll see what I can do. Clara's job. The quest is being followed now quest updated attach the plow so that's the first thing that we need to do is we need to go attach the plow the old plow to work on clara's field so we can go and do that we've got the plow over there so if i jump onto the tractor a minute there we go and we can get this plow hooked on and then we will see if it actually works this is a bit that um you know i'm sure that i went to the right field and i did it so i, I see no reason why i couldn't Plow Clara's field, check the map for updated objectives. So there is, right, plow Clara's field. So it's, it's got an arrow up there, which I'm assuming it's, yeah, it's 106 meters, it's over there. That is the field that I plowed. I plowed this entire field. I did it, and it didn't like it. It, it complained. I did this whole field. It might have been that I plowed too much, or I didn't plow enough. I mean, I thought I plowed the whole thing every single little inch of it so we'll stop right there oh. right if i stop there a minute and then look at the map 
just says plow Clara's field. So there's no real reason that I have to start in the middle. Um, I'm going to start, actually, I'm going to start here. And I'm going to try and do this in a straight line up through. Now, it didn't sort of, with the way that the mechanics work for the plowing and that, I want to start about this point. I've got to remember that it's different controls for this one. So if I go along here and then I start plowing up through, that is fantastic. It's actually plowing. And you wait until we get to the other end. This is the really cool bit that I genuinely loved about this is I mean, we do have to use keyboard steering at the moment. A little unfortunate that we've got to do that, but that's just the way it is. And if I stop right there, I'll stop close to the end of the field, but I'm not going to go right off the edge of the field. I think this is close enough. Um, and lift that one up, and then I will turn it round, and I will plow like I know other people have plowed before me. So we come down here. Now, what you do the first time is you actually put the plow down this side. So you make like a double trench that will work outwards from the middle. So we bring that back a little bit. We go near the edge of the field. I'm not going right to the edge of the field. And then put cruise control going again. And I plow this way. So I should be able to go up through like this and then down the other side. And it leaves a trench in the field and everything. And this is the bit that I really love about this. It's fantastic that it actually does this. See, the like proper plowing of the field. And all the mechanics of the plowing. And you can see like the dirt being plowed up and everything. It's really, really cool. So I bring that one over this way. And then the wheel goes down into the trench. And that, has, that actually works as well. So I get uh, about there, I think. Probably close enough. And then we can start steering. Now the plow does try to, the tractor does try to drag me down into the ground. It, it does struggle with this a bit. Um, the tractor is constantly fighting to slide down into the trench, which I'm not sure is a very good thing. I'm wondering if maybe last time I was a little bit messy with my plowing and so it didn't sort of count it as being done properly. So bring that up round there. And we come back through again. And then you've got exactly the same thing. So we can drop into the trench there. I'll lower that one in and then just press the cruise control. And I'm constantly fighting. Again, the, the front wheel. I've never driven a three-wheel tractor in real life. And it is constantly fighting me. It's trying to drag me down into the ditch on the front of the tractor. I think it's absolutely fantastic that it is actually doing that. I'm genuinely having to fight this thing all the way round in order to keep it out of those trenches and i do really like i think it's an excellent fantastic realistic touch that is really sort of helping to make this game for me um but yeah really i i want opinions on whether you think i should be doing this as a full-time series to replace the broad acres unrealistic series temporarily at least um it, you know we would maybe play this for a month instead of that one and then if we've sort of explored most of the content there is in this one, we can then put this one on hold for a little while, maybe the odd episode uh, once a week or something, um, until such time as a load more new content and then we can come back to it again. Something along those lines is kind of what I'm thinking. So not all the time, not sort of a permanent replacement, um, more of a, a temporary thing just as something to do um, while this is all still new and we can sort of follow the progress of the game as well then be able to see like the new updates as they come out things like that which i think will be pretty good and i personally i think this is an excellent idea it will it also will serve to give me a little bit of a break from farming simulator because i do play that game a lot and not only do i do the six um episodes a week of uh, let's plays but i've also got the two time lapses which is another 12 hours of recorded gameplay every single week. Now, you might think that 12 hours isn't a great deal, but if you do 12 hours of something every single week, you know, like 12 hours of any game, do that every single week continuously for um, years. I mean, I've, I've been doing, well, 12 hours I've been doing for a year. I've been doing two episodes per week for a year on the time lapse, but I've been doing the time lapse for well over that. I've been doing that for a couple of years now. So, um, pretty much without break so I'm kind of thinking that it would be good if I took a little bit of a break you know at least reduced some of the farming simulator stuff I do so that I don't completely burn out on it because I do start to get a little bit fed up with it at times um, and it's only natural that that ha it is like a natural thing and I don't want to stop doing it and I do I 
Don't get me wrong, I really enjoy the game. I enjoy playing the game, but there comes a point where you sort of think, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm repeating myself with a lot of it. I, there's a lot of stuff that I've sort of done before on other maps, and the only difference is a slight change of scenery, and I think that this is going to give us something that is completely different that we haven't done before. And so it'll be new, fresh content for people who already enjoy the content on the channel, and it's related to Farming Simulator. There is a lot of similarities between this and Farming Simulator, but it's got extra dimensions, it's got extra things that we haven't seen before. So it's, it's something new, it's interesting on a familiar subject. So that's kind of my thoughts on that one. I'm going to finish going round and round on this, and then we can just sort of finish off the headlands, and we'll see if we've made any progress with um, this quest on this field at all. I'm almost done now. I've just got... Probably another three or four passes up and down the field, and then we've just got the land, the headlands to finish off. I don't know how much of the headlands we're going to need to do in order for it to say that we've ploughed this field. So I've got no idea about how the mechanics of it work at the moment, so this is all very new and fresh to me. Last time I just kind of did the whole field, but I think I may have missed pieces in the middle, which is why it was saying that it wasn't done. So this time I'm being a little bit more careful about how I'm ploughing, and if... I, there was one point where I kind of got it a bit wrong, I drifted out too far, so I went back and um, sort of corrected and did it again. Now I've done everything, down that one side of the field I think I'm all finished. So I've got a little bit to do over here, there's, a, there's still like a, a piece to sort of finish off up through here. Um, I've got one more pass down the other side of the field I think, and then that's done. I'm still fighting with this tractor though, and that's something that I am particularly loving about it, is the... The three-wheel tractor, I've never driven a, a three-wheel tractor in real life. It's something I've never, ever done. And it's not something you see a lot of here in the UK anyway. They're it, really unusual to see a three-wheel tractor here in the UK. Now, I know technically it's got four wheels, but you know what I mean. It's, it's a three-wheel tractor, isn't it? Um, just because the two wheels are right next to each other doesn't mean that it's not um, you know, technically one wheel. So this is a three-wheel tractor, regardless of you telling me that it's four wheels. No, it's a three-wheel tractor. Look at it. Um, and it's got the stability of three wheels, so therefore it counts as a three-wheel tractor. That's that's I'm, that's my excuse, and that's what I'm sticking with. Right, so now if I lift this one up, we'll try and do some of the stuff across the headland here. And this is where it's going to get a bit bouncy, I think. <laughs> a bit bouncy and rough. Uh, if I drop that one in there. And yep, it definitely gets a bit bouncy and rough coming down across here. <laughs> it's going crazy. This is brilliant. We'll bring that up there. I missed a little tiny bit down this side. I actually need to go back and there's a piece there that I missed. So I'm going to have to just get that. I don't know if this is... Uh, I, see, this is a problem. I don't know how much I need to actually be getting. If I'm, um, How accurate i got to be with this to make sure that I do properly like get everything to, to finish the the quest. Um, but yeah, this this whole thing with the front wheel sliding around... I don't know if anybody has done ploughing with a tractor like this. Do you actually have any issue? I can't, I can't imagine that you would actually in real life get an issue with the wheel trying to slide into the trench. Just because of the way that um, the, the game is working with it, obviously. But in real life, if you were doing ploughing, it would be a little bit different. It would respond a little bit differently and behave slightly different because, you know, physics and you know, stuff like that. I've got to be careful not to drive onto that field over there. I really don't want to do that. So bring that one over to this side, and then we go driving on up. And we are almost done. I've got just a little bit. So there, I've reached the edge of the field there. Can't really do any more on that bit. And I'll come up here. I've got another little piece that I can do along here. So I want to drop down into the trench. Back up a bit. I'm going right outside the edge of the field just to make sure that I do get all of it. And then we can come in round here. I can plough that bit twice, I don't mind doing that. And so you can't turn very sharp with the plough either, that's another thing I noticed with this. Is in Farming Simulator, you can turn as sharp as you like when you've got the plough on the back. This one, it's physically stopping you from turning very fast or very sharp when you've got the plough on, which is a lot more like real life. If you're trying to turn a corner with a plough, you've got to have a fairly robust tractor to be able to yank it around the corner, because it, it puts a tremendous strain on everything involved. So it, it really does take a bit of work to do that, to bring it around the corner. 
it's possible. Don't get me wrong. I've, you know, I've seen it done. Uh, I've done it myself a little bit. I haven't done very much plowing, but I have done like a little bit of a headland. So I have experienced taking, uh, getting the plow to go around the corner. Um, and it, it is, it's entirely possible. You can do it. You can plow round corners, regardless of what some people may tell you. It's not necessarily the best thing to do for the machine mind, but it's still possible, right? Just because it's not great for the machine. I mean, going around a slight corner doesn't actually make any difference. It, it's not going to damage it, not in any great way. It's only going around a big, sharp corner that um, it can cause some serious problems. Uh, I'm going to bring this one up here, and I'm going to turn around. I'm actually going to drop it down there and do that bit there I'm going wait ah there so that's what I did wrong I didn't do it enough because I had really sloppy plowing the last time round to cultivate field go for your own harrow funded by a farm that's what I did wrong I didn't get to that point last time so I go out this way I can escape the field here and then we can go drive so we can take this one back we're allowed to keep this plow which means that we can then go home and we can get our harrow. We'll drop this plow off. We'll get our harrow. We can bring that one back and we can harrow the field. Harrowing the field is actually really, really easy. It's a lot faster than doing the plow. It's fantastic. I've actually made some progress. And, of course, now we always have the danger of the, the whole thing crashing on me, which is what it did last time. Um, a person turned up next to Clara. Yeah, next to Clara. And I spoke to him and he asked me to plow a field and then it all went pear-shaped. It all went horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. And, um, yeah, that, that was kind of the, the end of it that time. So before I speak to anybody, we're going to get the harrows. We're going to go up there. We're going to harrow the field. And then when I've harrowed the field, I will then go and speak to Clara. But I never had this bit come up. I never had the bit come up to say that I'd completed this particular task. So I'm going to make the assumption that because I've now done it correctly rather than doing it wrong... Um, things are looking up. It's it's going to it's less likely to crash on me because it knows now that I've I've done it right. I've done it how I should have done it in the first place. So let me just back up there. I'm going to stop right there and I'll lower that one down with R and then I press Q. Oh, it's because I was stuck behind the plow. Running around there. Oop. Right, I've got a harrows right there. I need to try and get onto. Stop there back it round gently does it um, try not to drive on them too much it's probably not a good idea if you drive on them too much these are very old harrows okay these um, the last time I seen a set of these working uh, they didn't have a steel frame like this on them they had a steel drawbar on the front and if you wanted to move them you unlinked them off the steel drawbar you loaded them onto a trailer and that's how you carried them into the next field uh, via the trailer then you manually lifted them off and you laid them down in the field you joined the chain connecting chains together and then you started off across the field and it was actually a set that had been adapted uh, the frame had just been actually no nothing had been changed at all i think actually i think it was two sets rolled into one i think you had four instead instead of just two pieces like this there was four pieces and it was four pieces because it had been adapted from two sets of horse-drawn ones. This is exactly the same as the ones that they would have used with a horse. If you're doing the cultivating um, with uh, horse-drawn implements, you'd have used this. And that is how they would have moved it around. They would have stuck it on a trailer in order to move it from one field to the other. And so that's what we, yeah, that's what I've done. It's the harrows that I've used, the really, the really old ones. So it's actually really cool being able to see them. And being able to use the old stuff like this. Because this is something that I feel is missing in Farming Simulator. Is not being able to use the old harrows. And here I can use harrows. I can actually go along and I can harrow the field. I've got to be careful now. And I want to make sure that I get all of it. Because I need to be able to harrow the entire field properly. So that Clara is very, very happy with all of my work. And if you bring the harrows over the edge of the... You know, where the ditch is sort of run down with the plow on the sides. I like the way that it does sort of fill in a little bit over time. Um, so you don't lose all of it. Um, you don't, you're don't. you not left with these huge great big ditches everywhere. So that is also a bonus. Um, so yeah, hopefully once we complete this, we won't have the game crash on us. It won't do all sorts of weird, strange and wonderful things. It will just say, right, you've completed the quest and you've earned yourself a brand new plow. I'm really hoping it does. Uh, once we've done this field, that is going to be it for today's episode. 
and I will return again. I'm not actually sure when it will be. Couple, couple days probably. Um, maybe three days. It does depend. Um, but obviously, comment section today is very, very important. What are your thoughts about me playing this instead of the Broad Acres unrealistic series for a little while? It won't be a permanent thing. It'll be a temporary thing while we take a really good in-depth look at this game and sort of really explore what it's got to offer. I think there is potential here for a lot of fun. Um, I think it, personally, I think it's a good idea because, you know, it would also help to give me a little bit of a break from Farming Simulator. I can sort of, you know, when you feel like you're starting to burn out on something and you haven't actually, but you could feel it happening soon. I'm getting like that with Farming Simulator. I love that game, but I'm genuinely starting to feel, I don't look forward to playing it quite as much as I used to and I'm not really liking this situation. So I'm looking around for something to play as an alternative to some of it. So you know, and if we don't play this, I could very well um, replace the Broad Acres series with something else anyway. Broad Acres series is less popular than the realistic series. At the moment it's on the Estancia Lapacho map. Um, so I could very well be looking for something to replace the Broad Acres with, at least on a temporary basis, just to sort of allow me to uh, take a uh, well, it's not, obviously it's not a full break, but take a little bit of a break because, you know, bear in mind I do do 12 hours a week of um, time-lapse footage on Farming Simulator as well, and that does also have an impact. Um, so let me just bring that one up round there, and then we can lower it back down again. Um, with these harrows, you can actually turn as sharp as you like. You leave them in the ground, and you can turn as sharp as you like. The only reason I'm lifting them up is because it's quicker for the tractor itself to turn around. Um... But yeah, when you're using these harrows, there is no need... I mean, other than, like, sometimes you can have the chains kind of tangle up a little bit when you're using them with chains, uh, there's no real reason to worry about not turning sharp. The way that the, um, the framework is made on this one, it's not going to make any... As so long as the, the connections to the frame itself are strong, there's no reason to have it going... It doesn't make any difference which direction it's traveling. You go around sideways, it still spikes pointing straight down into the ground. There's no like direction of flow that is interfered with. There's no, like on some cultivators, the angle of the tines going into the ground means that they must move forwards. And if you move them sideways, you twist them sideways. You twist them at an angle that they're not meant to be used at and they break. And you know, it, it happens all the time. However, these old harrows here, they don't break. It doesn't matter. This is literally just a spike pointing straight down. Um, so they're not going to break. The reason that they're... Um, you, you, you sort of... The, by that logic, you're like, well, hang on a minute. Why doesn't everybody use these? If they're unbreakable times, why isn't everybody using them? The reason being is it's just a steel spike. It's not actually like... Most times these days, they're curved springs. And uh, they're very often called vibratillas or... Um, something like that and the reason is as they go forward because of the spring that they're on they vibrate sideways they vibrate side to side and they vibrate strongly and that vibration smashes the clods of earth um, this cultivator doesn't have that vibration on it and so it's not as good in order to achieve a decent workable seed bed um, over the same soil that you would use a vibratilla over this one you could very well have to uh, do the you may, you could very well have to go over it two three sometimes even four times in order to get a decent seed bed um it's not unheard of to have to go up and down the field and then go side to side on the field and then turn around and go up and down the field once more just to sort of finish it off and it's because of that that these are no longer used you don't see them around anymore and that is the reason it's just that they are not efficient information clara seems to be really fond of you okay uh, you can't go backwards. Uh, quest updated Clara's job. So that is updated. Clara's really fond of me. You receive plow and 500 social points. Check the map for the updated quest objectives. I can't finish it. It's leaving the line now. Ah, uh, I was really hoping I could actually finish a job. But no, there's a... Oop. The camera does spin quite enthusiastically. But no, there, there is a line down through the field that we didn't finish. But I have actually done it. I've actually completed this quest. I'm so pleased. Uh, it's not actually telling me anything on there, but I can just go home now. Um, 
I really don't want to go and speak to Clara because I'm very, very concerned because there was another person that turned up next to her and it, it, it generally worked out quite badly. Except that person's not there. She's there on her own. Maybe we could risk it. We could run the risk of going to see her without the game crashing. Let me save the game a minute. I'm really, I'm really nervous about this. I, I'm going to save the game before I go any further. Game saved. Here we go. The ultimate test. Now, there isn't another person here. There was another person here. There isn't another person here now. I'm assuming this is a good thing. Can I help you, sweetheart? I'm kind of green. Can you tell me a bit about field work? Sure. What do you need to know? Uh, I don't actually need to know anything. I really don't like his shirt. I hate the shirt. The, the, the bright red shirt. I mean, I've got ginger hair, so bright red shirts don't tend to go very well with me. I tend to clash a little bit. And I also don't like the tool belt. What's with this tool belt? The only time I've ever used a tool belt like that is when I've actually been doing building work. Um... But it's not something that I would have on while I'm just generally wandering around. So, um, yeah, but I don't think actually... Thanks. I'll see you around. All right. We don't actually need any more information from her. And it would appear that we've done all right. We haven't... The game hasn't crashed. Everything seems to be tickety-boo. I'm very, very pleased. We go back to our Jack Bear. I love this. I, I can't believe I didn't see that. Jack Bear, John Deere. I mean, for goodness sake, Frith. Come on. You, sh you should be able to... Whoa. Steady. Um, I, I should be a little bit more awake and um, to, so that I can notice these things, but I, I genuinely love it. I really hope that there is a lot more Jack Bear stuff in this game. Just as this kind of cheeky nod towards John Deere, it's like, well, yeah, okay, you're not letting us use John Deere. Um, you don't let anybody use John Deere because you've got your own game that you use that I'm not saying definitely is the worst farming game that has ever been made. I'm just saying that in my opinion and the opinion of a lot of people, as in almost everybody that's ever played it, the game is the worst farming game that has ever been made. So I really don't know why you want to keep your John Deere name associated with um, something like that. Surely you'd want your John Deere name associated with something of a little more quality, such as Farming Simulator or this game right here. Um, but I'm, I'm sh the mysteries of marketing are beyond me. They really are. So um, I don't really understand that. I very much doubt that anybody from John Deere is actually watching this video anyway, so it doesn't really matter what I say. Um, now, we do have machinery sheds, so I could store some of this stuff in a shed, or I could just you know, dump it right here and be done with it. Um, we'll stop there. That is all I've got time for today. So we lower that one down a minute, and we will unhitch, and then we will jump off. I'm going to leave that one right where he is for now. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. Not only do I want your opinions about um, this being a replacement for the Broad Acres series for a little while, I would also like some suggestions. Is there anything you would like me to do next time is there anything in particular you'd like me to work on first or should i just sort of go with whatever tickles my fancy while we sort of explore the map that sort of thing um so yeah until next time thank you very much for watching this is frithgar goodbye and see you later